Hello and welcome to this Tinder POS tutorial on setting up your POS ATD Wi-Fi printer. Before we begin, we need to make sure that our printer has a solid blue light on the front to indicate that it is in its factory default mode. If it doesn't have a solid blue light and it is flashing, we need to go ahead and do a factory reset. To do so, we're going to press our power button five times. One, two, three, four, five. The printer will now turn off. It will then beep and it will turn back on and go to solid blue. When it does, grab a phone or a tablet or any device that can connect to Wi-Fi and look for the POS Wi-Fi in your Wi-Fi settings. The password is 12345678 and go ahead and connect. Once it says connected no internet, press the circle button, open up the web browser of your choice and we're going to navigate to 192.168.1.1. This will take us through to the printer page setting. If it asks you for an admin password, that admin password is just 12345678. So let's go ahead and set our printer up. Let's first go to STA mode. And in STA mode, we're going to scan all of our existing Wi-Fi's and we're going to find the Wi-Fi that belongs to us. In my case, it's Matt Wi-Fi. And we're going to press OK. Now at this point, we'll say the password is empty. That's OK. Just press the OK flag. Now let us go pop in the Wi-Fi password for our printer. Confirm that password is correct by the Show Password field and press Save. At this point, it's going to ask you to restart. We're not going to press Restart. We're going to press the Back button. We're then going to head over to Work Mode and we're going to go from AP to STA Mode and press Save. At this point, we'll press Back again and we'll confirm that our STA settings has been kept. It has indeed. And now we can go ahead and restart our printer. We're going to press OK. The printer will now restart. The light on the front will begin to search for our network and connect to it. You'll see the printing light on the front is now a very slow light that indicates that we have successfully connected our printer. To confirm this, you can turn the printer off. And then we can turn the printer back on. And you'll see the light on the front is going to flash quickly to indicate that it is connecting. When it has made a solid connection to your Wi-Fi, it will begin to blink slowly. The printer will also make a noise to indicate that it's connected. If this takes any longer than 60 seconds, factory reset and start connecting again. In order to get the IP address of the printer, we need to do a self-test. In order to do that, we're going to turn the printer off. We are now going to hold down the feed button and keep it held down and press the power button. When they are both held down together, the printer will turn on and we will get a self-test out of the printer. So keep both of them held down and that is our self-test. If we look at the top, it's going to tell us the details of the Wi-Fi that we are connected to and the IP address that we are connected. And there you can see the light blinking slowly. Thank you very much indeed.